This is the Toro Pro Majestic and it clearly just got a paint job. So there are custom gloves and then there's this. This thing is so well done. This thing's crazy. You may actually recognize this pattern from Demon Slayer and that's 100% correct. I've never actually watched a show myself, but it's extremely popular. Now I kind of feel like I have to watch it though, so I'm gonna have to soon. The back of the glove is checkered with green and black and then you have those little flames everywhere. And just look at the details, like on the actual logo, you have that little tip of the corner. It's got the flame. This thing is so, so sick. And then the rest of the glove sort of has that comic slash anime look where there's little dashes and marks everywhere on that tan leather. Same thing on the palm there. You got that same type of design. So Stomping Ground Customs is actually the one who made this glove. He's on Instagram and TikTok. Go check him out. He normally does like shoes and whatnot, but he's like, hey, I just got to do more gloves because it's so much fun. But he said, hey, I want you to field with it. Take ground balls. I want you to see how it lasts. That's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to take ground balls. We're going to beat it up. We're going to be rough with it because we need to see if any of you guys out there did something crazy like this, is it going to last? Is it worth it? Because if it's going to chip off right away, then <clears throat> one thing you should definitely note though, if you ever wanted to do something like this, break the glove in first and then customize it. Otherwise you're going to ruin it as soon as you have to start breaking it in. Now, before we actually go take ground balls, we have a couple new pieces of merch. One of them may or may not be a bucket hat. Go check it out. Ballgloveking.com is always. Honestly, our biggest question today is just how will the paint hold up through our ground ball? So. So one positive thing I want to say about this glove actually is that the palm feels huge. And so fielding any ground balls like that that are in front of me, super clean and easy. But what that does is any place that it is just one hand makes it feel super, super deep. So it kind of has, you know, ups and downs. Oh, something about the liner with this glove, like that play right there. All I did was try to go like this. The glove goes from like here on my hand to as I'm sliding, it just shifts down like that. He didn't put any paint on the palm liner, but it's just slick, just naturally. And so kind of annoying, a little frustrating. Ugh. I like constantly have to wipe my hand off. This thing's just slipping and sliding. I do, okay, I need to just say an update. So after taking very, very moderate ground balls, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a little bit of like paint chipping on those inside laces. And that's exactly what you would expect. There we go. All right, I'm actually gonna take a couple two in the pinky. Goodness, this thing is a slip and slide. The pocket is massive when you go two in the pinky. All right, pick it up, let's go. Let's take some harder. I see zero difference on the back side of the glove. Even where I'm putting like my index finger, nothing. It's just clean. You know, there really isn't anything super noticeable about the glove. Like the back doesn't feel super slick or anything like that. It doesn't feel crusty when you're closing the glove or anything. It all feels normal. Like if I was just closing my eyes and fielding ground balls, you can't really feel ground balls if you're closing your eyes, but you get the point. I wouldn't know that anything was different about this glove, but my big thing is it's not good for the leather. Like it's not good to paint the leather. It's not really helping it in any way. Yeah, we're just gonna take a few more clean ones, but uh, I definitely gotta give you guys an update on like the wear and tear of the paint. That was right at me. Okay, let's go take a look at all the damage done. After giving it a few days, the glove is a little bit more beat up than I first realized. I'll show you a few spots that I've noticed the wearing. Obviously our palm is gonna be pretty worn. That's exactly where you're catching the ball every single time. Of course it's gonna wear down, we expect that. I was actually pretty surprised to see that the binding is wearing away 
And I think that's just from closing the glove. Like when my hand is in the glove and you close, I think it just stretches it out a little too much. There's other parts of the glove that I'm really impressed with though. They're like not wearing at all. If you look where I put my index finger, it looked perfectly normal. I totally would have expected to see at least some kind of wear and tear on that spot. I've noticed that there's two main spots that the glove is actually fading. One is definitely the palm. We expect that 100%. But then the second one is actually some of the corners and edges of the glove, like our binding we mentioned before. In the end, this is easily one of my favorite gloves I own. Super happy about this thing.